Hi everyone, welcome back to the Jansen Art Studio. I'm David Jansen. Welcome to another uh, kind of painted simply presentation. We'll change it up just a little bit this time. What I have here is a, uh, a 12 by 16 wood panel and I base coated it with uh, some medium beige and some uh, light gray, or actually a medium gray, value six or so. And just, just toss some color on there and then just lightly sanded it and I've got it all ready to go. You could put sealer in there if you want, but these are just practice boards. They're fun uh, little things for you to practice, uh, you know, some of the techniques that we use here in Paint It Simply. So what I'm going to do here is I'll just mix up uh, some, maybe a slightly different color. I'm going to be using my six colors that I have of the Paint It Simply. To this I've also added uh, pine green. And I'm going to add this time uh, some uh, of our quinacridone violet. Now, the quinacridone violet, I just mixed up four global colors. So uh, I just squirted it out of the tube here. This is the tube that I just used. And I just put some in here and then added some uh, extender medium to it. And you'll see it's a little bit thinner. It's, it's a little bit thinner because I've reduced it down with the uh, extender than what I usually use when I paint on my palette. So here is my red violet and stuff that I have here. It's very, very thick paint. It's a uh, uh, lovely, lovely paint. I love to uh, pick, I love to paint with the colors that are just like about the consistency of toothpaste. I like them really thick. Um, it doesn't mean I can't use this. I can. It's just be a little bit thinner and we can still use that. But in a day or so, and you, you should stir that up every, you know, about twice a day and in a day or so that will this thicken up just like my other tube colors that I have over there and then you can close them off and keep them for as long as you want okay so I'm going to take some extender down here let's take a little bit of black and let's take a dollop of white here um, let's take a little bit of our our yellow some of our nice yellow and you see I'll get a color that's pretty close to uh, what I have here already on here we'll just put down some color I don't need to cover the whole thing or anything but I like to have a little color under the surface here to work stuff into now I'm going to paint um, a light lighter area up here and uh, we might even just go a little bit more yellow here and Let's get a little more yellow white kind of color up here and we'll try some different things here I'll make you try different colors so let's put something up here with a little more yellow and white here model that into the ground here let that come right down here that'll be nice and we could even get some lovely um, burnt sienna I love burnt sienna the color burnt sienna. I've been adding that to the painted simply uh, colors here. Let's put a little bit of that quinacridone violet in there. Look at that beautiful color. Look at that beautiful color there. And let's just put some of this color. What you try to do as an artist when you're working on stuff is I'm going to be using some of these colors of roses and stuff that I have here. Some ambridge style roses and stuff. And what I try to do is imagine some of these colors working right into the background with these roses. And uh, so it'll give you better harmony to it. Now I'm just going to take my hand and I'm going to add some movement lines here to this. I'm just going to move this around a bit. And I, I really, really like to add movement like this into a painting. And let's just grab a little bit more of that right through there. Let's get a little more yellow, a little more light. We'll put a splash of that light right back up in here. Okay. And I've been doing a lot of filming lately of uh, starting into our series called The Art of Painting. And in The Art of Painting, I go into a little bit more in-depth about my thought process uh, about the painting. We go into sketches and, and how we go about uh, doing things. So I'm going to start a approaching a little bit more about this. And one of the things that we do in The Art of Painting, though, is we develop a plan. And the plan starts out with, you know, where are you going to go? Are you going to paint flowers? Are you going to do them flowers? Are you going to render them realistic? Are you going to render them, you know, a la prima? Are you going to render them uh, impressionistic? You know, how are you going to go about rendering, you know, your image? And uh, so it, it's a developing of a plan and a thought process. And 
that's what I like to uh, to start to teach. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a, an Ambridge rose. I'm going to put a rose coming down this way here too. I'm going to bring some light in. This is my plan. I'm going to bring some light in uh, from this upper side up here. Generally, I bring in light from the top. It doesn't necessarily have to come in that way, but I'm going to bring it in. And I want to just create some movement here with my colors. That's all I want is to get some nice movement back through here. And then I will put the rows in and a couple of the roses in here and then we'll adjust it from there. We'll see how it goes. So next thing to do is I'm going to state the area of my roses. I'm going to take some of my naphthol red light. Let's drop it right into my backgrounds here. This will give me good harmony and let's lighten that up a bit. Let's get it over to a peachy color here and that'll just add some yellow to that. And let's get a little bit more white right up here. That's a beautiful color right there. And we'll come in and we'll just deposit this right where we might want to put this rose hanging down here on this side. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep the edges of this very, very soft for right now. Let's change that up just a bit, maybe right over here like this. And let's add what we might put a, another one right in here, smaller one, maybe right in there. Maybe a turned one right back down here, right in there like that. Okay, so that, so I'll put those on, and that just gives me an idea of of the roses here that we're going to paint. And then next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to impart the uh, light in the dark. So I have the light in the dark here into my ground. I'm going to cool this off a little bit. Let's grab a little bit of this. Um, this lovely, lovely quinacridone violet here. And let's cool off the lower part of the rose here. So we're, I'm, I'm using some, you know, I love the, the, the colors and stuff of the Ambridge rose. They don't have these real pinky violets unless they're sitting in shadows like that. So, uh, but I just love this color onto that with this peach color. So it's different. So let's just add that anyway. And we'll come in and then we'll make some real uh, powerful statements of that color here as well. Let's make some more powerful statements of that color just because it's a beautiful color and it's different color for you to use. And some of you that are just, you know, starting out following this, we haven't used this too much in the paint. It's simply like this. And uh, that'll work great. Let's put some in that. Let's Put some of this, and this really cools off lovely as you go down towards your red violet. So here I have my warms right on down to my red violets here that I can put in a little bit more, uh, a little, little darker, a little cooler as I head over here to this side uh, of the roses over here, okay? So we'll just keep that, and let's just put some of that right in there like that. Keep those in there. Maybe we'll put a stroke or two of that right down here on the low side of this one here. There we go. Just to get some of that moving. Now let's also come in here. Let's grab some of our pine green. We'll put it over here. Let's put a little bit of black with that. Even a little bit of this quinacridone um, uh, will, this quinacridone violet will cool it down and darken it down here. And this will be a lovely shadow here for uh, in into these roses, into the greens here of the rose. So we'll drop some in there. We'll drop some in there. We'll put some of the uh, stem line movement now into our, our, our rose here as well. We'll drop some of the idea of the stems and stem movement and, and lights. Just take, I'm using my three quarter inch brush that I do so much into the painted simply here. Um, just to, uh, and grabbing some of this movement out here like this. Okay, so let's just grab some of that. Let's grab a little bit of the uh, Hansa Yellow with that. That'll brighten that up and that'll, and we'll put that right up over here like that to our light side of our painting here. Okay, so it's a, it'll be a different, different look here for these. Okay. Let's get back down to our darks down here with a little bit of this green color coming through here. Like that, and just build these greens in here. Just build this color up in here like this. It's 
get some more of that pine green, some of that that uh, quinacridone uh, violet there with that beautiful toned color. See, it just browns that down. And let's just move those together like that a bit. It'll help really tone this down on that side. Very different look. Let's put some of that right in. And I'm gonna small one of these rows, I'm gonna small this rose down a little bit here. Let's just follow this like and out like this has some other stems and stuff coming out here. Some other quicker stuff going out there like that. Okay. All right. Now, now I'm going to go, I'm going to stay pretty much to a, a, a bigger brush. An 8 or a 10 we'll use here. And uh, I have my 8 out here. And we'll use this to uh, start saying, suggesting, and, and our shapes of our flower. So let's go right in here. Let's go with this uh, magenta color. Let's get a little bit of the red right in here. And let's just show where this uh, center is going to be of the rose, which will be right in here. Let's just paint very casual here for this rose. And notice I don't turn the rose or anything like that. That's one of the things that I don't. I paint a rose in the position of it on the canvas. If you turn it, you'll tend to paint each rose exactly the same. So I paint it, you know, if it's falling down, I, I keep it on the canvas here as it's falling down. So let's just add a little more red violet, a little dark into that center there. Uh, let's drop in some into here which will be the center of this one here so we'll see where that one's going to go and uh this one here let's turn this one out this way just a bit here like that okay and uh then we'll come in and let's go find some of our lights let's take this peachy kind of color here it's a beautiful light uh, color. Let's come right out here and let's find out where some of the lights of the, the rose will be and the kind of petals that we might put on this rose. We'll just model into some of this color. We'll strike that out here like this. Okay, we'll pull in just a bit like that. Let's just pull in like that and just bring that rose petal in like that. Okay, so if this is my center, my bottom of my bowl is going to be somewhere down here. So I might have a petal or two lined right in there. And sometimes I will do this, depending on the flower and stuff. I'll, I'll just come in and, and sketch or drop in some ideas of some, some petals that I might uh, put on here. Or how I might put those petals on. We'll push that right into some of that shadow there. That'll work well. We'll drop this in. We'll bring a bigger petal because I'm going to have a space out here. We'll bring a bigger petal out this way and in. And we'll drop some color in there. We'll let it go a little cooler down here. So I'll head right down here to some of my cooler color. Right here as I'm putting this on. Here. Build this a little bit more up here. And you see I do in quick kind of stabs here laying the color up on top of that one right there and then I can manipulate the color in and out I don't want to manipulate it too much because it'll blend it and I don't want to blend the rose I want to leave these color strikes out here like this this is you know where we're doing a little bit more a la prima and we're we're doing a, a little bit quicker stroking so we want to get some some nice interest here for this now I might uh, just take this and make this a, a turned edge here so we'll put a little bit of shadowing right up underneath there maybe a little light cool pink we can put underneath there a little cooler color in there that's pretty sometimes I let that green stay in there so it's a little bit transparent and we'll take a light color here and we'll build this up like this is a turned up petal here. So we'll roll this up and just turn this like that. This is a nice turned up petal. And once you get a lot of paint on there like that, it becomes a little difficult to uh, work it. So we'll let that tack up a bit there. 
and we'll come back here and we'll work some of the bowl some of the petals here on the, some of the the bowl we'll start establishing some of the bowl bowl petals here okay some boom some bowl petal here boom work that cut petal color in there like that let's get a little bit lighter i love this light toned orange color and we'll model some more of that up here even get a little bit brighter don't add quite as much uh, green and some of those dirty colors there so it's a little bit brighter and uh, we'll imagine the next petal here sometimes I, I oh a lot of times I start right up onto the bowl but you know here I'm not this time I'm gonna just move some color in and let's just straight Put some of these out like this. Grab some of this color out. Let's just drop in a little petal there and just pull out. Set that in place there. Maybe use a little chisel here to suggest some petals here. And then we'll come down now. That's a little bit light. So we'll just kind of push this right in there and we'll let these petals down here just kind of fall away there like that and put in some outside edges here petals just let those just kind of softly fall away there it's good we'll come in and put another little dose of light we'll build up this petal here now you can also um, taking a, a little bit of this like cool color like this and just pull out like that restate that and pull out like that and that'll put that shadowy tone right on there so it's, and then that will build into that again so let's let's come back over and do it right into this one as well we can walk that up the the bowl here some of that tone there and put a little bit in around that edge of that one and again we can restate some of that shadowy tone back here cooler tone back on that side of the rose over here there we go that rose is turning around in there okay let's come over here and uh, we'll work this one over here for just a bit here drop that in there and I'll, I'll drop the the top bowl of it right here drop that top bowl right there like that let's come out here and say boom here comes this petal right there maybe we have this petal which we've started right there we'll roll one and I do this a lot with my brush. I just kind of roll it around like that and let that just kind of, you know, especially when I want to do real casual roses like this, you know, I, I, I roll my brush a lot. So I, I don't constantly create the same stroke uh, very many times. And I love to, to, to get that variation of those strokes there. So let's get some of this light right up here this is going to be heading towards the light side of our painting there so we'll put some of that light strikes right up there here like that we'll lift a little bit of the shadow up there like that let's um work these petals in we can work our finger in and out with those two and just leave those kind of soft you know you know how much you're gonna do those is, is your call as the artist but you can leave them kind of soft for right now we're just looking for movement in and out here so we can leave those edges just very soft like that if we want more in there we can take a little bit of our quinacridone maybe a little bit of our red violet nice cool color and we can develop that coolness into that side there if we want more contrast we can add that tiny bit of black or even a tiny bit of green 
and the green, uh, in the, you know, the, the green will tone down this red violet and actually make it appear a little darker there, which is pretty. And, and I do that a lot on some flowers to get that nice, get that nice dirty green in there. I love those colors there with that. And let's just uh, lightly suggest this other one that's going to be here. We'll just suggest it a little bit, push some of these colors around here, keep it very casual. Okay, very, very casual here. There we go. And just give a little bit of its shape here, a little bit of its shape going around. You can even let it go a little bit more yellow or so, but it'll have a little bit more light up on this edge here. There we go, just like that. Let's just drop that in. Back here like that. Let's get a little bit of the lights out here. And we can move that in and out with just a little darker color. Get some of that moving in and out. There we go. And uh, we'll come back, back up to our main rows here. And we'll start its lights back up again. Here like this. And we'll work that. Here, in and out, like that. Okay. In and out, like that. So we got a light side. We, we want to really develop a light side to it and a dark side to it. So we really want these uh, out here to be just really nice, powerful light strokes of color here. On this side. We want this to be a little bit heavier light, this curving part of this here. We can take some of that cool, you can even negative paint just like this to uh, you take some of your dark like that and curve that in and negative paint that edge so it looks a little better and cleaner if you want. Um, I do that a lot with, with uh, leaves and everything, and but you can do it on rose petals as well. Take a little bit of that cool and just hit a little bit on this side of that cool there. Let's just get a little bit of this light right out on the edge there and pull back and we'll let some of that green just kind of take over inside of that there. That'll give us space in here to add another petal coming in. Maybe make it lift up here as well, right here like that. Let's just put a little light right on that edge here. Boom, just like that. And again, you can take that cool and kind of negative paint it a little here till it goes into, into the right spot. There. Let's uh, curve this one out a little bit like this so this turns. There, that'll help that rose turn quite a bit. There we go. There, that's around. Let's get some of that light right out here. That light color, that's pretty light, that beautiful light color there. And just set those rows. And they don't take, you know, really, and a lot of times I end up over painting a rose a bit too much. It doesn't take too much to really say this is a rose. It doesn't take a whole lot of, of movement or, or shape or anything like that to say, oh, okay, here's a rose. You know, so, you know, just take some nice movement of color and then the little chisel of the brush there to say, here's a petal. Here, so a lot of times I, I will over paint roses, not intentionally. <laughs> It just because I start to play with them a bit and see it doesn't take that much to say rose 
Now I don't really like this uh, V shape here, so I'm going to bring up this bigger pedal in. Maybe turn this one a bit. That'll allow us to build a bit more light right up here onto this side. And I got an edge there. I want to just tap that on my palette, soften that in just a bit. There we go. And let's just work that in and out. Get some of that movement there. Some of this nice color. Let's put a little cool color and lift out. That keeps that cool color down there in that bowl. Get a little warm right through here. A little warm color right in there. And as you see, that just can make a beautiful rose here. Just build it and look and divide it up with some more petals here like that you can make a beautiful flower here of your rose and um, let's just put a little movement here into our center we'll close up a little bit of that center here more towards the light and the warm here let's just close that up a bit and just give that some rounding movement in there and uh, close this up because a lot of times I paint the open roses and some of these are, are more closed so let's close some let's close some of these up here like that that's pretty now, in this painting that I have here, I like everything about this painting here, but I feel that, and I like these two roses that are right here, and I feel right now that I've gotten this one a little bit too big. And I went ahead and let that happen. I want to show you what it is that I do to finish that. So I, I feel in here that this rose is great, and I like this and stuff, uh, but it's a little bit too big, a little bit too powerful here for this. So I'm going to take some of my greens, which I know I want to have down you know down in that area I know my background is you know with this yellow here matter of fact this is very close to my background here I'm gonna push back into my flower like this and I'm actually gonna push all of this back in here just a bit more here and I'm gonna push this background in here and I'm gonna it gives me a good idea to resize this rose here what this rose will look like here as I'm doing this and don't ever be afraid to do this this is what this is what artists have to do all the time and so it's a good thing for me to show you this it's you know we have to go in and see what happens now is I get a better flow as this is coming down into its size and I'm just going to utilize some of this color that I have here look at that beautiful color and movement that's here on this flower already in here because I've got a, a good a dose of the light and a good dose of the dark here let's take some of our greens let's go back in let's set up some of our greens here again in and out uh, some of those little leaf shapes there let's reset some of this green here maybe these are going to come out here to a little movement here so we'll reset some of these greens Maybe we're going to have a, you know, a, let's do it with this so I don't get that too dirty in there. Maybe we'll just say, okay, I'm going to put a little rosebud right in here, right there. We'll paint that in as part of the painting here. Let's get a shadow side to it here. And see, as, you're, as you go through and you evaluate your painting, you're going to create a, a, a much prettier painting. Don't be afraid to get in there and work those colors. You know, and, and change it up and try some different things. It's paint. You know, we can we can put it all back. You know, we can find it all again and put it all back. Now I'm just going to small down this side here. Let's try not to grow this time, Dave. Okay. And uh, let's get our let's get our cooler side over here. Let's get some of this real pretty quinacridone and let's just leave it out here, right out here. I think that'll be. Beautiful. That'll make a little different color of the rose. Matter of fact, maybe we'll put some of that quinacridone right over here and just state it right into this rose over here. Just bang. 
put it in over there here let's put a little dark darker red violet right out here right out onto the tips of that and see what I'm doing is once I, I, okay, I like that color there. Well, let's move it around the composition here just a bit. Just move it around. If you like it, move it. That's what I always tell my students. If you like something, move it. Let's get a little bit of our orangey -er color here, yellow and red, okay? Let's get a little bit of that quinacridone in there. That's all beautiful color. Let's model that up. Let's take a look at this color. Those are pretty colors there. And, you know, one of my... Uh, one lady wrote me one time, and, and uh, I've said this in several videos, and she, um, very, very beautiful uh, painter in the industry, more of a craft painter, uses a lot of bottled colors, and she, you know, bought all of our heritage, and she said, uh, you know, I, I'm afraid to use it because I'm afraid I can't make the same color. I never make the same color. That's why I brush mix. And that's why all of this looks so pretty and so different is because I follow warm and cool, light and dark, and I let the colors change. And if I make a color, I'll go plug it in a couple other places here. That's what makes it beautiful. That's what makes it art. I don't squirt out a bunch of color and paint by number. That makes it stiff. You don't want to use the same color. There's the difference. You don't want to use the same color in too many places here. Okay. So we'll lighten this up just a bit here. We'll say, boom, there's the light here on that rose. Here's that. Let's just put a little bit of this right down in here like that. Okay, here comes that petal. Boom, right back up here a little lighter. Okay, there's that one. Let's take a little of this cool right in here. Let's get that cool color right in there on that side. Boom. There it is. Push it in and out. Okay. Let's take just a little edge here. Give an idea of a petal. Give an idea of a petal there. Pull that out. And that'll make a pretty little rose. Let's cool this lower petal here. It's a little bit warm and it's taken away there just a bit. So we'll cool it. We'll maybe give it a little bit of a light edge right there and there and pull in. And that's all that really needs. And we'll let that just fade away over on that side there. Let's drop it into here. But you see, I work around this flower. I'm working all of this flower at the same time. I'm working all the flowers of this composition here at the same time. So you see me working around and around. Here, I'll take a little dark. Let's just restate some of that back in there. And that's pretty. Let's get a little more dark, a little, quin a little quinacridone, a little red violet. Let's state that a little bit more right in there. That's a pretty little rose there. Let's put some of that nice dark right in here. Restate this. Nice dark. Look at those pretty colors on this. This one, let's, um, let's change it up a little bit. Let it go a little bit more light or white so we'll neutralize some of this reds with some of the green so when I want to paint a white one I look for the complements and so here we'll we'll neutralize some of this red right with this yellow green look at these beautiful grays that I make here okay so this will be very pretty if I let this one go a little bit more light or white so the change so I'll have some different colored roses here we can take a little bit of that white over here to this side of this one. Let that change over here. Boom, like that. Maybe we'll have a little edge of that here. That's kind of pretty. Watch the light. I'm watching the light value, the warm colors of it here. So I'm, I'm going to step off to the side here where I have some just, just some white here. That's pretty. There, like that. That's a real pretty little flower. Let's take some of that. I'm just right off the edge here where I can get something a little cleaner. Pick up some more clean white. And I love to do this too. I love to do a lot of things. I know I say that a lot, but I do. I love to do a lot of things. I love to, to splash that on and then just kind of pull it and work that in here. Use my finger to to uh, um, 
move it in. If I get too much in one direction, I'll, I'll pull across like this and then pull in. So I don't, I don't think we should, as artists, work the brush too much in one direction too often because we will um, stiffen up the flower. So I like to work the, the brush in many different directions. That works there. Let's get some of this right into those grays right in here. Keep those greens into that gray. That's beautiful color. Look at these grays. That's beautiful grays. Beautiful, beautiful grays here. Okay, so yeah, that'll make beautiful colors in here. Look at that. Let's just lighten this side of this rose up just a bit and we'll model that down. We'll let this kind of cooler pinky color come right in there like that. We'll say, okay, here comes the bottom or this bowl of the rose on this side. And then we'll pull some of that out. There. That's really pretty. And we'll pull some of this light here. There like that. And pull some of this color out. We'll just work the color just lightly here. Strike it and uh, just to create, see I'm just moving it now to find some shapes of some bowl petals here. I want to shape the bowl kind of round here. Kind of, you know, give the impression of the round. And then what I'll do is I'll take a little more white. Let's step out where I can get some white white here. And we'll draw the edge of this petal and put like the the edge of the of the petal here. Just draw the edge. Maybe we'll we'll drop one out here like this. And we'll just pull that right into the bowl here. Okay, so there's a petal. Let's pull this one up with a little bit more light. Right like that. Pull this edge here. Now i got to be careful. I don't want to get out there too far and start growing this rose some more. So let's just stop that right there. I'll start growing it again. Let's drop that in. Pull some light here. Let that light go a little cool. Now that's a little bit too much there. So I want to, I like that other gray coming in. So I'm just going to lift some of that out. And you can lift it out with your brush. You can put some gray in your brush like this and just lift it out like that. I, I like to do that. Just for variation. That's what I'm always painting for is variation. I'm going to take a little cooler the quinacridone color here. Let's just restate that in there. Let's just build this light up. Let's build this bigger petal out just a bit more here. This petal out just a bit more. Here. Just a bit more. And let's find that nice gray and lift some out. go and we'll build that light that light white bit here now I want to stop I want to go to my grays and let that soften right to grays down the, to the red violets there right in there that stopped it better so I don't drag that white too far there we go Let's give just an idea of the petal. Just an idea. There, that, that's going to be a rose petal coming there. Let's turn some of these petals here. So let's just put one on like that and then just pull a little bit and then it'll look like it turns. So these turn here. These are all kind of falling down. Assisting this one falling down a little, just a little light cool color here onto this side. Just a little movement out to there. That's all that's really going to need. Soft, cool movement here. Let's just ever so soft there with that colors. And then just a little bit out to there. Just a little bit of movement. Now let's take um, 
some of our greens. Let's come in here with some green and some of our blacks here. And I'll show you, we're going to come in and we're going to negative paint in some of this rose, some of the shape of this rose. And that will help reduce it down. Now i got good movement to it and stuff, but I want to reduce it down a little bit more. So I'll negative paint. And this is a technique we use in the Heritage uh, porcelain technique quite a bit. So I'll come in and I'll just work this. I don't want that edge completely harsh, but I'll come in with some dark like this, dark like this, and paint in, and then just soften the two together, and that paints that edge back. We can use that like right up in here to get a little shape to that one there. We'll drop a little bit across there. A little bit into this one here. And we can push that green and stuff together and make that edge back here, just that petal, just really transparent looking. So we can push these together just a bit. You see, you can get that nice transparent look there. That's really kind of pretty. And we'll get some of that nice contrast there. So I'll use that negative paint, like I could use that right in here to uh, really lift off that petal, even though it was dark there. We can lift that off. I'm going to build up here this one just a bit more beyond. Maybe comes up over the edge of this one just a bit here. That's pretty. There, like that. Totally changed the shape of this petal now. I had that big folded petal. Now I've got here. And this, but this is a good one for you to see that uh, I do this a lot in painting sometimes as I change my mind as I get in from my original plan. I'll change my mind and and uh, start to uh, feel. And one of the things is, you know, I always tell my students, we always look for, you know, flowers and inspirational flowers. And but I do just that. I use those flowers as inspiration. I don't copy them. One of the things you don't want to do is copy too much. You copy too much and you'll start to make it stiff. I want this flower to be able to evolve with my thought process here as I'm seeing this painting here. So now I'm putting on a little more cooler shadow. We'll add a little bit of green to that here. Dropping this shadow down here. Um, just capturing the, the movement of the shadow here. Down like this. Here. A little bit of that shadow up there. Let's get a little bit of this warmer color right up in there. Not too much. I want to keep that in towards the whites here. And the grays. So we'll soften that in the brush here just a bit. And pull some of that light. We can edge now so we can take some of the white we'll take a clean area right down here pick up that white right on the edge like this and this is where you can really pop in the edge now to edge paint these petals don't want them flat so don't you know don't paint them flat flat but look at how pretty this rose is now it's got these colors got this lovely movement to it. These petals are coming right along here. Touching in here. There. This is coming in here. That's, uh, you know, don't worry about that. Let's just grab a little bit of our gray and lift off into it to take some of that off. And we can pull a little bit back in just to give a little bit of that movement into that. That's good. A little light color out. There. There we go. Now that petal's kind of sticking out a little bit too far. Uh, it'll stop the roundness of it. So I'm going to pull this back in. And this is what I love to do. See, I can just pull it back in and I can turn this movement right here back into that edge of the, you know, to a reaching petal, the outside petal there, and then come back in and Push this around, push that right in there like that. Let's just take a little bit of the light here, 
And let's just say a little bit of a light petal right there. Maybe a little bit of this warm and a little bit of this light. And let's keep that round to the bowl there. There we go. That's better. That's better pet petal there. Let's get a little more light on it. Right here. That's a better petal for the light. And let's put a little more light right on this part of the rose. That's a better petal for the light. More light coming across. So now I'm watching you know, my light side, my dark side. Let's take a little bit of our light. Let's keep it here. Let's go over to this next one. Let's keep it on the, this peachy color. Let's develop our light onto this one a little bit more here. Let that fall on that side. But we'll develop the light side just a bit more over here. A little bit more light color, a few more strokes of light color to develop the light here. Put a little, let's restroke some soft color in there. A little deeper touch in there. Some of that color there, that's pretty. Let's develop this light. There. A little more light, pull down. A little more light. There. There we go. That's prettier on it. Nice rose. Very little, very different here. Pretty. There. Drop this petal down like that a bit so it's arching to the bowl. That's pretty. We might want to build a little bit more light in here, but we'll put some more darks in here. But this light, because one of the things here too is I'm building this light here. As this, I want to get some nice thick white right up here like this, because as this rose dries, this white will sink in. So, and whites do that. They sink in quite a bit. So this is why you see a lot of artists really plow on a lot of highlight right up here like this. Um, you know, into their very lightest petals and stuff. Cause, and really texturize it. Because, you know, the texture stands out on the surface. And then that, that white doesn't get absorbed too much by the, the undertone as it's drying. So we really like to get that light out here and those textures out here. Nice, light, light, light color. Build it. I, I generally restate the light several times in a painting like that. Okay, so that, that looks pretty good there. Let's go in now and uh, we'll add just a touch to a back rosebud here so we can say we did it. Just a little bit back there. Maybe a touch of the light here, just to say, yep, we did a rosebud back there. A little color moving in and out of the greens there. And a little cool side to it. Let the cool side come in. A little bit of that warm right in between that light. So, and that cool color there. Let's go right back up into some of these peach colors here. Don't want to make it too light. Now, that is that is a little too light, so I'm just going to take some of my reds. I'm just going to put some dirty toned reds in and just pull right through it. And just keep pulling through it until I see it soften down to about the point that I want that to be, which is right about in there. We'll give it a... I, I like to get that little splash. I love that splash of that uh, quinacridone sitting in there. Um... You know, that's a pretty little color. And I like those little splashes of color sitting in there. So we'll just put a little splash and just soften that in there with our finger. That works pretty good. So I got all these darker leaves and stuff. And, you know, right back in here, I'll show you something really fun. We can take a real toned kind of reddish color 
and we can just push that right back in here like this okay and let's get some tone let's get some of that quinacridone some of that red violet put some of this green in it it really will kill it dye it down and so it's not intense at all and let's just put on like this is a bottom rose back here sitting way back here into the back maybe a little bit of this this color in here into this and just like give an impression that there's it's because we're going to cover it with leaves but there's its center maybe you know it has maybe the idea of a of a uh, center and some movement and some bowl petals here just an idea of them that's all that really needs right there then we'll take some of our green a lot of our green take our black take some red cool red violet our nice darks again let's come in and restate our state some of our darks push some of that right back up over that one work some of our darks in here work some of our darks in and around in this rose here work a little bit of dark here into this one here maybe into there a bit okay that's quite nice work a little bit in here this is the contrast area of your painting this is the movement area and the contrast area that we want to have we'll take a little bit of our greens out here this is our brighter area too so we'll make some brighter greens yellow greens up here right out there get real playful with those greens there you don't want to make um, you know perfect little uh, um, don't want to make perfect leaves in there I want the leaves I, I can make leaves in there but if I start making too many leaves there it's going to take away from the row so don't want to do too many there I'm going to soften this one back in just let that just kind of soften there a bit stay in close to that bowl there just let that just die down down there like that and um now this the other thing is this bowl really really closes down of course they all kind of close down there but i could open that up uh, i could give the impression of this bowl opening up a little bit more which will give a little more life uh importance to that center of that rose here and this is a nice thing see i just tap in the corner of my brush with some of the darks and I'll just put some movement in there. Look at how that opens up this rose. See? How it opens that up. I got some nice movement there. There we go. That's pretty. Now, let's go back and let's get some more yellow greens right out here like this. Okay. We'll take this up just a bit. We'll head into our greens. You can even get some uh, pine greens and yellow greens in there and get the some Hansa and that we'll get some light colors out here let's just take a look you can have a light green with just a pine green that's just a beautiful kind of green then you can yellow it up a little bit more over here but uh, let's come in first and stroke a little bit lighter green in here and we'll do some leaf shapes there's some leaf shapes in here but not too many we'll put a little lighter color here just like that maybe the idea of the shape of the leaf there okay we'll have this light I want to you know we have this uh, rose that has the the light and dark side to it so the leaves here should have a light dark side with it sometimes I'll overpaint the light like that and then just come in and and reset the with a little bit of dark there so we'll just do a little light. So this side up over here will reach to the light here. And the other side down over here will we'll get it a little bit darker. Just some playful dark greens down here. Down out this way. We'll get the idea of like a little calyx here. 
onto this rose there, like that. Just strike, just model your brush like that and strike. And so many of my students say that, oh, oh golly, I wish I could, you know, do it just like you do it. Well, you've seen me here recreate, uh, correct something. And I go off all the time, but what I do, even when I know that that's a mistake, I'm not bothered by it. It's paint. You can change it, okay? You must paint with confidence. That is what will make you a great painter, is you must paint with confidence. Yes, it takes a lot of practice. And yes, you have to do hundreds of roses to you know paint beautiful roses. Uh, and you can do that. Anybody can do that. It just, but you must paint with confidence. And if you make a mistake, just kind of laugh it off and reset it. It's paint. We can do that, okay? We can do that. Let's set in some of our, our lighter stem movements here. As we were going to set some stems up here like this, some movement of these out here like this. You can give like little uh, movements and stuff like that to those. Just nice. We can drop in some other little leaves that are going to come out and cross over some of this maybe a little bit here. Maybe we have a little bit of the lighter color crossing here. And pulling in. Okay. And then we'll go right on back down to our darks. We'll put some of that green working right down in here and down through here just really really casual put a little strike or two of the light right out here maybe there is a little bit you know strike there and it just gets some of that movement get some of this movement up here this green going out like that very playful. Let's get a little bit of the light right here. That's going to be our light side. So a little touch of those lights there. Reset some of those shadows there. Don't get want to get too much light there like that. That's really kind of nice. Let me take some of these real dark greens. I'm going to go with my bigger brush here. I'm going to play these darker greens down here now. Just down into the painting here. This is all just movement and stuff. Here, moving down through here. Just get some green movement. Bushes, lots of stuff going on. I love big brush painting, just powerful brush painting here, like this. Just put some of that in there. Okay, we'll drop some of that in. And we'll put a little green movement out here, out into these. Maybe hit these stems just a touch here. Maybe give another idea of some stems. Coming out and across like this. There's some nice movement moving into it. Okay, then you can uh, look at your background here a little bit more. Do you want to put a little more light direction into your background? I think I do. We'll uh, take some of this lovely gray whites here. Let's just take it right into our greens and let's look for a nice light gray that's coming from these roses, some of the reds and greens here. Okay, we'll add a little extender to that. Let's come right back in here like this. And let's work some of that. So you're going to pick up some of that rose color right up in here. And yeah, I'm going to go right into some of this greens and stuff. I'll go put it back. We won't worry about that. We'll just put that back. Let's just grab a little bit of that. Let's just work these colors here. There we go. Just work that in there. Just work that in there. Oh, I like that. Like that coloring in there. Let's work right up into that. Grab that a little bit. Work that rose into that. Grab that out there. Let's 
Grab that a little lighter right there. That's boom, here's that light. Boom, right in there, there's that light. Even that little pinky color in there, that's great. It's like boom, and there's that light. And boom, here we go. Down like this, right in there, work that in. And see, you, you're never afraid to go back in and work something again. Let's put a little bit of that green right out there. That green light that's coming out there. Don't be afraid to come back in and work some of these areas again and do some of this stuff. You know, we can, we can work these again and set this back in there like that. Hey, isn't that pretty? Let's put a little yellow green into this and some light. Watch this. This will be so pretty. Boom. Put that in there. Just boom, let's reset that leaf there. Boom, let's put that one in there. Just some lovely, lovely greens. Here, the light side, let's put a little bit of that. I love to paint with the big brush like this. Just boom, here it is. Boom. Let's get some other greens. Set some of those base greens down. But you need these lighter greens in there as well. Boom few of the darker greens. Just get some of that movement there like that. It's fun. It's fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. You get to see me watch me change my mind, okay? We'll have lots of more videos like this. This is the way I want you to paint. I want you to try and paint. Don't be afraid to uh, try something. It's only paint. You can change it, okay? And it's easier to change something if you use more paint. It's a lot easier to change something, use more paint to wipe it all out, okay? Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time here at Painted Simply. Till then, you have a great painting day. See you next time. Bye-bye.